Um, today I'm going to make laundry detergent. It's going to be a liquid just like you get at the store. I'm going to end up putting it in a five gallon bucket. To make it, uh, I start with using Fell's Naphtha Soap by Dial Company. Um, you can usually get it at something like Walmart pretty quickly. Um, this is called pH up. You get it in the pool cleaning section of the store since nobody sells uh, Another common thing to find is 20 mule team borax. There are other So, we start with the bar of soap, um, and the first thing I'm going to do is sort of shocking, but pretty basic. I'm going to chop it into a couple of chunks, and put it in my food processor that is equipped with a grating blade, because I need to melt this soap. And to do that, I need it in as small pieces as possible. Um, I could do it by hand and just chop it up in little pieces or whittle it down if I really wanted to. But face it, food processors are more fun. And it's soap. What can it do? Alright, that's done. Okay. So, I have your basic pot, in this case it's three quarts, um, I'm just using tap water, I'm going to fill it about halfway up and hope that that's pretty close to a eh, quart and a half, maybe two quarts. So we let the pot come to a boil. Alright, so the pot's pretty hot, and before I add in one bar of Fell's naphtha soap, I'm going to add one cup of sodium carbonate or pH up or washing soda, which is also okay. Made. Then you take one half cup of borax. Alright, good. And then I just take a stainless steel spoon and start stirring. Everything should dissolve up pretty well. Oh, there's a big chunk of something. Probably the sodium carbonate. I wouldn't want to get this all over you, but nothing's going to get hurt if you spill a drop or two someplace. Okay? This is not cheddar cheese. This is not cheese sauce. Alright, so I'm about five minutes into cooking here. We're pretty close to a boil at the moment. And I just thought, so we really got an idea of what everything looks like. I dip this plastic container in. And you can see I'm getting a yellow liquid. Okay, I'm getting a yellow liquid that has some stuff on the top still and it has a fair amount of foam starting to boil in there, and I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. And using a strainer, you can see I still have some things that I need to melt. That still looks pretty cheesy in there. But you can also see that under there, it's, it's melting all right. We're, we're getting there. That it sort of has layers so I kept stirring my mixture on the stove for about 15 or 20 minutes until everything was pretty much melted and consistently just a solution all the way through. So now all we do is take the pot and dump it 
into our five gallon bucket of water, which I have. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look and see what we have at the end. I've waited an evening. It's been about 12, 13 hours since I made the stuff. Here we go. You see it's kind of lumpy and obviously needs to be stirred up. I discovered that using a kitchen whisk to really stir it up made the particles very small and you will see that it comes out quite nicely. You can see that now it looks pretty smooth. So, there you go. Ecological impact, negligible as far as I know. Uh, easy, low cost way to keep your clothes looking and smelling pretty darn clean. Thanks.